old are you? 23. 23. You in the same predicament? You don't have a man, but are you a virgin? No, I have kids. You have kids? Or you have eight kids? And I'm, it's not to get on y'all. Un understand, understand this thing. It's not to get on you. It's the thing, our people, uh, give me Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. I want to show y'all. It's not to get on y'all, but we have to be taught better. If we want, y'all want to see change in your communities? Yeah. 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 Why, why would you say yeah? I, I need to know. Everybody's not going to heaven. Why not? They sin. They yeah. sin. Oh, I but like these things y'all saying. Of, but you also I did say that you sin. wanted to go. So, how do you get there? Through God. Through God. By not sinning? I like these. Well, y'all got some sins. All right, read that. Hey, also like him. Show them, show them who's not going to go. Who's not going to go? Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. No. 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 Because there are people that are not going. You said that. You were correct. How do you not go? Committing sin. That's true. That's correct. Now, what are some examples of the different types of sins? And how do we know how we can avoid being prevented from entering? Read. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Bring it out. No, ye not that die. No, ye not. Don't you know? That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. People that are unrighteous, of which it's about to give us several examples, shall not. Some, some Inherit the Read it again kingdom, ain't Yes, the kingdom of God yeah, Because listening. of their unrighteousness You listen it, read it again Know ye not that the unrighteous Shall not inherit the kingdom of God They will not So everybody says, well I'm going, I'll be fine Well, let's see what people Are not going to be fine and are not going Be not deceived Neither fornicators Fornication Violating the marriage sex laws, read. No idolatry. No idolatry. Having any other God, whether that be, maybe it's not Buddha, maybe it's not Confucius, maybe it's not Allah, but maybe it might be money or cars or women or uh, shoes or other things that you put above God in His Word, right? They will not inherit it. Who else will not inherit the kingdom? No adulterers. People that commit adultery. That's what other people call. A husband's sneaky link. Read, nor effeminate, sissy men, or the flip side, masculine women, that shall that not God. inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Read, that's right, teach up. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. I'm, I'm, I just want to go back to that one part real quick. These are the people that's not going to, don't go nowhere. These are the people that's not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Understand that thing. I don't want y'all to think that this is a joke because our communities is messed up right now. We got abortions and murders and drug dealing. And ain't none of these black men doing nothing to correct the situations that's going on in our community. Right. 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 Ain't nothing funny about how we living out here that's in right. Danville, Virginia. Go ahead and read that whole thing again. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. We know the extra how y'all gonna get to the kingdom of heaven. Ain't no pastor telling y'all how to get there. They telling you to bring all your tithe, bring all your money, while they driving Benzes and Jaguars and your people catching the bus. That's Go right. ahead. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So to be righteous means to keep the commandments of God. That's that right. means you are not going to be an alcoholic. You are not going to be a drunkard. You are not going to be a drug dealer. You are not going to be a murderer or a hater. You are not going to be committing abortions. Right, right. You are not going to be a lesbian. You are not going to be a homosexual. Right. Go ahead. Read. But idolaters. But not. Be Come not on, deceived, brother. neither are the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor effeminate. If you are a man walking around here with a long blonde wig, right. and you got on tights, and you out here selling your behind, right. you are not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Yeah. that thing. A man and a man cannot create life. Right. The, Bible, the God of the Bible says that for a man and a woman to be fruitful yes. and multiply. Yes. A woman and a woman cannot be fruitful and multiply. Yes. Yes. Understand that thing. Read it again. Yes. Be not deceived. Don't you be deceived, black man. Don't you be deceived, black woman. Read on. Neither fornicate.
fornicators. Fornicators. Boyfriends and girlfriends. How old are you? You 18. You got a boyfriend? What you, you, what you and that boyfriend doing at 18 years old? He in jail. What is he in jail for? This is going even deeper. What is he in jail for? Okay, that's fine. I, 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 let me assume, man. I can imagine. I was 18 at one year, at one point in time. Maybe selling drugs. May, okay, 20. Even worse. Maybe selling drugs. Maybe robbing. BMEs. Maybe beating somebody up. It don't matter what it is. I'm pretty sure he did any one of those things at one point in time. Okay, it don't matter what it is. He in jail. He got convicted for something. And, I, and it's going against God's laws. But my point that I'm touching on is 18 years old. There's no boyfriend. It said no fornicators. You and this man or an 18, 20 year old guy has sex before? Okay. God forgives. Remember, God does forgive. But if you don't, if you're never taught the laws of God, because remember the question was, how do you get the kingdom of heaven, right? That's right. The Bible says, read that part again, nor what? Nor fornicators. Nor fornicators. Fornicators, according to the Bible, you're only supposed to have sex with your husband. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's right. Anything outside of that is fornication. Make it so no fornicators will get the kingdom of heaven. That's my point that I'm trying to relate to you. Understand? What about you? How old are you? 23. 23. You in the same predicament? You don't have a man, but are you a virgin? No, I have kids. You have kids? Or you have a kid? And I'm, it's not to get on y'all. Un understand, understand this thing. It's not to get on you. It's the thing, our people, uh, give me Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Yeah. I want to show y'all, it's not to get on y'all, but we have to be taught better. If we want, y'all want to see change in your communities? Yeah. yeah. Why, why would you say yeah? I, I need to know. Why would y'all say yes? Crazy shit be going on. It's some crazy shit be going on. You absolutely right. Yeah. 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 right. And guess what? When, Why, when, when the women are sleeping with these men, and these no good niggas that, right. that just want to have sex with the woman, right. don't want to take care of none of their kids, right. okay? Then you have problems like this. You have single parent households, okay? You got the kids that don't get to grow up with their mother and their father. Right. Read this. Exodus 22 verse 16. Uh -huh. If a man entice a man. So what's your name, sis? T, T right? Ja. Ja. T and Ja. If a man entice Ja, what's that mean? If a man come up to Ja, he's spitting game. T, you look good. You know what I mean? Let me get your number. This, that, and maybe we can hang out. I take you to go get something to eat. You know what I mean? If a man entice you, read on. That is not betrothed. That is not betrothed, meaning you are not promised to another man. Okay, go ahead. Meaning you single. Go ahead. And lie with her and have sex with her. Right. If this man comes up to you and he enticed you enough to have sex with you, read on. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely, meaning he must endow her or make her to be his wife. These men nowadays aren't doing that. That's right. That's right. What about you, sis? You got you you got any kids? She got a girlfriend. You got any, you got a girlfriend. That's okay. We we gonna touch on that as well. Okay, so we're talking about the problems that's going on in Danville, Virginia. Okay, we're talking about the problems that's going on in the black community. Okay, so we have a lot of single parent household because we got these no good brothers that's listening to this no good rap music that's listening to my booty holes brown and uh, P pound town. That's okay, right. but they're listening to all this music and then they're perpetuating that in their lifestyle. Right. I understand that thing. Okay, so us as men, we are coming out here to the communities of our people to change those conditions. And how are we going to change those conditions? Only with the Word of God. Right. So go back to 1 Corinthians. Sis, do you know as a, uh, that's your son? That's your son, sis? That's not your son? Okay. Uh, do you have kids? As a mom, as a mom of the community, how do we teach each other how to get to the kingdom of heaven? Do you know? Don't go nowhere, uh, John, what's your name? I'm sorry. Don't you go nowhere. Stay right here. How do we get to the kingdom of heaven? I, I'm going to ask every single one of y'all. Um, uh, Project Imagine. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? By not sinning. By not sinning. Okay. What you say, sis? You got to inform the people. You got to inform the people. The people must know. Otherwise, how will you get there? So go back and read that again, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9. Bring it out. Know ye not. 
that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So again, know ye not that the unrighteous, to be righteous means you got to keep the commandments of God. That's but right. the unrighteous will not get there. You are not going into that. Uh, the Christian church say you go to some big pie in the sky. You are not going there. That's right. It's not happening. I just want to let y'all know. The kingdom of God is on earth. That's That's right. Right. The kingdom of God is on earth. The kingdom of God is in Danville, Virginia. That's right. Okay, but you have to be able to change your minds. Drug dealers is not getting there. Prostitution is not getting there. That's not happening. Go ahead. Be not deceived. Don't you be deceived, sisters. Don't let no pastor, no man, nobody lie to you how to get to the kingdom. Read. That's right. Neither fornicators. Fornicators. Uh, boyfriend and girlfriends. Uh, is not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Boyfriend and girlfriends. Go ahead. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Who is this, y'all? Who is this right here? Excuse me. Who is this? Starting with your, starting from the left to the right. My left. Who is this right here? Who has society taught that is? How about you, young man? Who you say that is, young man? Huh? Young man says God. What about you, sis? You don't know. What about you? That's who God. That's society teach, right? What about you? You say Jesus, okay? Young man over here, put that back for me. Young man right here says Jesus. You say you don't. Uh, you don't know. Uh, you said you don't know as well. You say the society teaches you that that's Jesus, and you say that's Jesus. According no, to the. Okay, okay, let's let's see what Christ looked like real quick according to the Bible, because we must not we must notice because Christ coming back to save. Because Christ, I already know you know you've been here for a little bit. Stop playing with me. But uh, Let me go. <laughs> nah, hold on. But Christ said He's coming to save His people That's from right. their sins. That's right. So the Stop. same people understand. Understand. I want y'all to understand and listen clear. Who put? Who did this to y'all? Who did this to us? A white man. The so-called white man, right? So how can the so-called white man that put whips on your back, that put your, your 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 people in chains and shackles, how is that same white man coming to save you? How is this now become your savior? Teach y'all. Right. I've got, you think maybe, just maybe, you've been lied to. That's right. Just maybe that you've been lied to. Right. Just maybe you've been lied to to think that it's okay to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Just maybe you've been lied to that a man can marry a man or a woman can marry a woman. Teach y'all. Just maybe you've been lied to about Christmas. Make it just yeah, maybe you've been lied to about Halloween, right, Thanksgiving, right, right. Uh, Easter. Right. Maybe you've been lied to about all these things. Maybe you've been lied that the woman is over the man. Right. And the woman wears the pants in the household. Right. right. But is that according to the Bible? No, it is not. We have been we have inherited lies. Yes, right. Go ahead, and that's what we're out here for. To change the mindsets of our people. Right. Right. No longer shall you be drug dealers, right. prostitutes, right. murderers, right. haters of one another. Right. And if you're murdering your kids, meaning abortions, you go into these uh Planned Parenthood and you commit abortions. Right. That is a form of murder and hatred. Right. That's right. These type of people are not getting the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Go ahead, let's see what Christ, our Lord and Savior, looks like. Go ahead. Revelations 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it his head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ's head and his hairs. The head. Y'all listening? Y'all listening? Sis on the phone. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has wool here on the earth? Bring it out, uh -huh. Black people, yes, what do you say, right. sis? You say me? What about you? You got wool hair as well. I want you to understand that thing. He had this young man right here. Uh, this young man right here. I know you know, but we got to make it plain. That's right, right. This young man right here has wool hair. Yes, and it's a beautiful thing. Yes, but a lot of our sisters like to put the other nation's hair in their head. That's right. They want to look like the other nations. Right. When you are the, uh, when God made you to be the author of beauty, yes, your kinky hair is beautiful. Right. Your wool hair is beautiful. Right. You were made in the image of God. Right. You were made in the image of Christ. Right. Right. And guess what? Christ does not look like your oppressor. Right. Christ does not look like the ones that's hanging you on trees. Jeez. Christ does not look like the ones that's going into your stores Jeez. and murdering you. Right. Christ does not look like the ones that's fighting you on the uh on on on, on the boot. What's the on the um when they he threw the hat? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, when he threw that on the boat docks in Alabama. Right. 
Okay, they not coming against you. I know y'all seen that in the news. But let's see, let's see the way. Cause this right here is upliftment. Our people have never been taught this. That's you right. go into these churches, they got white men hanging up talking about Keep coming here and on. be saved. Right. He Break ain't saving out. you. Right. He gonna keep you in hell. Right. Cause that's where we at today. Right. The conditions that we are in, we are in hell. That's right. Go ahead. As white as snow. So his hair was as white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So when you drink a little bit of wine, the whites of your eyes get red, okay? Christ drank a little bit of wine. His first miracle was turning water into wine. That's and right, teach out. Okay, and the whites of his eyes turn red. Okay, go ahead. And his feet. Now we're talking about his feet. I see your feet, T. -t. I, see, I can see your skin, sis. Go ahead. So we're talking about Christ's skin color. Right. Go ahead. Unto fine brass. So what color is brass, y'all? What, what color is brass? Huh? Brown, right? Again, this is about Christ. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. So that same brass was burned in the furnace. So if you burn anything in the furnace, T, what color does it become? Black. So what color was Christ? Black. So again, now give me Luke chapter 1, verse 68. So again, I ask, who is this? How is this man that done this to you coming to save you? Right. It's lies. Right. It's lies. Your Messiah looks more like you. Right. Now, we're not saying that that's Christ, but that's a better depiction of what the Bible says. Go ahead and read that. Come on. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So the Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel is you so-called American blacks. Israel is you so-called West Indians. Israel is you so-called Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, Native American Indians, Mexicans. Okay? You make up the 12 tribes of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is for you. Christ is coming back to save you. Go ahead. For he has visited his and redeemed his people. So he redeemed you from what, T? He redeemed you from the curses that we are under. He's going to redeem us from, he's going to redeem us from the drug dealing. That's right. He's going to redeem us from the murdering and right. the hating one another. Go ahead. And has raised up a, a horn of the city. David. David. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies. So the Bible says that Christ, the black Messiah, is going to save us from our enemies. That's okay? right. Okay? This is an enemy right here that can do this to you. Your friend's not doing this to you, T. Your friends will not let this happen to you. But uh, but Christ is coming to save us from who? From our enemies. Uh -huh. And from the hand of all that hate us. That's and from right. the hand of all that hate us. You understand that, T? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.